right guys, we are going to um, do the 12.4 homework help right now. So um, with 12.4, there's a lot of theorems, so there's four, and um, there's the inside theorems, outside theorems, so if they're intersecting inside, intersecting outside, and there's angle theorems and segment theorems. So number one through three all have angles, um, so we're gonna be using all of our angle theorems. All right, so number one, um, we're looking at an angle formed when they're intersecting inside. So when two chords are intersecting inside. So that means the angle formed oops, is equal to the sum of the intercepted arcs, 88 plus 86, divided by 2. And that's it. So 174 divided by 2 87 degrees all right number two um, now we're intersecting outside so the angle formed is equal to the difference so big arc minus small arc divided by 2. 70 over 2 and that's 35 degrees. Number 3 is also intersecting outside and so the angle formed is equal to the big arc minus the small arc divided by 2 and that's going to be 45 degrees. Okay. Okay, number four um, requires a little bit more thinking. So we've got X is this arc right here, and we've got an angle being formed by two guys intersecting outside. So that angle formed is equal to the big arc, now I wasn't given that, minus the small arc, that's X, divided by two. Well, I don't know what the big arc is, but I do know that the whole circle is 360 degrees, and I know that this little chunk, so this big arc will be 360 minus X. Okay, so 360 minus X minus X over two. All right, so let's solve this thing. So we're gonna combine like terms. So that is um, 60 equals 360 minus 1x minus one more x, so that's minus 2x over 2. Okay, and then we're going to multiply both sides by 2, and we get 120 is equal to 360 minus 2x. And we're going to minus 360 from both sides. All right, we're going to get negative 240 is equal to negative 2x. Divide by negative 2 on both sides. And x is equal to a positive 120 degrees. There you go. Okay, on number 5 again we are getting two guys intersecting outside so the angle formed 38 is equal to the big arc which i don't know minus the small arc which is x divided by two so the big arc so if this whole thing is 360 this little chunk the 140 is taken so we go 360 minus 140 and we have 220 left and then 220 degrees is this whole thing, so we just go 220 minus x, and that's what's left over. So 220 minus x, and then we start solving. So we're gonna get 38 is equal to 220 minus x, minus x is 2x, all over two. We're gonna multiply by two on both sides, 38 times 2 is 76 is equal to 
220 minus 2x. We're going to minus that 220 from both sides. So we get negative 144 is equal to negative 2x divide by negative 2. And x is equal to, what is that? Positive 72 degrees. Number six looks tricky and its angle is like hard to see. Um, but basically, you've got a 90 degree angle here. So the angle formed, because that's 90 there, 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 and there. So we've got two guys technically intersecting outside, although it's very hard to see. So the angle formed is equal to the big arc, we don't know what it is, they call it x, minus the small arc, 6 divided by 2. So it's actually easier than the other two. It's just kind of a weird looking picture. All right, and then we're going to multiply by 2 on both sides. We get 180 is equal to x minus 6. We're going to add that 6 to both sides. And our missing arc is 186 degrees. And that's it. All right, guys, number seven looks gnarly. It's not too bad. Um, it just requires we use both theorems about intersecting inside and outside. Um, and actually, there's a little, some little extra hints. But um, if I want to find this angle, it's the big arc minus the small arc divided by two. I don't have either of those, so not super helpful. Um, same thing, if I want to find x, it's big arc minus small arc divided by two. But I am given this angle inside and we have our little theorem that says that that angle formed is equal to the two intercepted arcs added together. So this is my unknown here. We've already used x, y, z. So I'm just gonna call that little a for arc divided by 2. So we get 180 equals 120 plus our little arc. Um, I'm sorry, we times both sides by 2 to get that. And then um, we're going to minus 120 and we get 60. Okay, so that arc there is 60. I wonder if I can write it in and we can see it. 60. And um, another thing I'm noticing is this guy is perpendicular. That means it cuts that guy in half, which means these arcs are the same. So that's also 60. It also means that these arcs are also the same. So that's 120. It also means these angles are going to be the same. So to find X and Y, so Z we found is 120. Um, to find X and Y, I'll just do X because they're going to be the same. It's just going to be big arc minus small arc divided by 2. So that's going to be 60 over 2. So x and y equal 30. So number 8 requires um, that we remember inscribed angles because 38 is an inscribed angle and 18 is an inscribed angle. And they have relationships to their arcs. They are half the intercepted arc. So if this guy is 18, that means this arc right here, I'm going to do a little thing, is 36. And then this arc right here is going to be 68. Okay. And now that I have that, I have everything I need to find x and y. So x is intersecting outside. So that means that this angle formed, x, is the big arc. 68 minus the small arc, 36, divided by 2. So 68 minus 36 divided by 2. 16. All right, and then y is the angle formed inside. So that means it's the sum of the intercepted arcs. So 36 plus 68 divided by 2. 36 plus 68. <laughs> divided by 2 
is 52. And that's it. All right, another kind of thoughtful, tricky one that kind of requires that you remember some other stuff about, um, <laughs> my kids are very loud, um, about isosceles triangles. So they give us that the this little clue right here that this angle is congruent to that angle. So if this angle is congruent to this angle, then that means this arc is congruent to that arc. So I know that Z is equal to Y. That's a big clue. And so now I'm going to try to find um, everything else. So let's see what we've got. We're going to do 42 is equal to the big arc. Now we could say it's X and Y, but that will introduce too many variables. So since we only can have one variable, I'm gonna use that trick that I used a bunch before. This whole thing is 360. So, and this little chunk is X. So this big part must be 360 minus X. So that's my big arc minus my small arc X all over two. And now we're going to multiply by two on both sides. And we get that 84 is equal to 360 minus 2x minus 360. And we're gonna get 276 is equal to, negative 276 is equal to negative 2x divided by negative two. And we get that X is equal to 138 degrees. Okay, so that's X, but how does that help us with X and Y, or Y and Z rather? Well, if this whole big thing, I'm sorry, if this guy is X, so we found that this guy is 138, So to figure out what's remaining, we're just gonna go 360 minus that 138. That's gonna be 222 degrees, and these are equal to each other. So you just go 222 divided by two, and that is 111 and 100.